We are back with a round five feature. And round five is triple graceful charity, triple harpy's feather duster, amongst some of the most ridiculous power cards in the game. You're gonna kind of see here is we kind of fast forward things. Um, just a lot of the value and things you're gonna see in this format. <laughs> Example, graceful charity, <laughs> just being a power card, and also the fact you're gonna have to play around with Sinister Serpent Abuse. It's really good though because now we have outs to clean these things up. Um, going to see that someone's skull is still kind of floating around in this format. Um, I'm actually very interested to see why Sean opted to keep someone's skull in his his deck list for this point. Um, but the amount of power staples that you are seeing resolve here. Um, Cyber Jar into this board. I mean Hell yes, I, I'll take a bunch of other free cards. So battle positions have been confirmed. Pot of Greed allows me to draw two cards. Gracial Charity resolving. Gotta drop off some stuff here. The turboing of the decks. You're, you're playing in a format like this that you have to manage your resources. This is ridiculous. Seeing double Cyber Draw resolve, all of these cards. Now, Sean was playing a little bit more of the beatdown strategy. And yes, that was Bait Doll you just saw. Bait Doll is a new card that kind of got added into the card pool uh, from Labyrinth of Nightmare. And it's actually very interesting because it gets you the ability to bait something. And if you trigger it right, it gets to recur itself. So it's almost a little bit better of an MST. But as you see how things are gathering here, this is quite the hand size that we have down here from Sean. And... Whew, just the strategy that is kind of going into this. We've already seen a Raigeki be lost from CRS over here, along with one Graceful and his Pot of Greed's now gone. Confiscation to pay a thousand to look at this. Oh my god, like, what do you want to kill? <laughs> Raigeki, Snatch Deal, Change of Heart, uh, Feather Duster. Um, does my opponent have a possible out to stop this hand? Please discard my Summon Skull. It would make me feel so much better. Ooh, got rid of the Solemn. That's actually very interesting. Um, and yes, we did get the Regeki back. My bad. Setting of five. Could this be a Morphing Dryer? Would that make me feel so much better? Oh, and Imperial Order's been flipped. Well, that's quite the hand. Um, <laughs> end of phase. Uh, what, are we, what are we discarding here? Whew. Kaiku, Sinister Serpent. I do like how Sinister is that free recursion. <laughs> Gotta get back our Regeki really quick. Man, all of these all of these cards we keep drawing back here. Mirror Force is going to resolve. Um, very interesting to see we're keeping that. Sean is taking the Penguin Soldier. Oh my gosh. That old school tech. Having to discard though, because of order. Ooh, Bait Doll on the Trap Pole. That's really good. Feather Duster for the cleanup. Chain Wabaku. Regeki. Buy Penguin Soldier value. <laughs> I miss you well. Wabaku kind of got him in there though. I believe Sean can actually make a comeback here. Kaiku's going to make an attempt to clean up this situation. Situation's the best thing that I can call this right now. Because we have so many sinisters. We have one we have a sinister down, and you need to consider anything that your opponent could possibly top deck as an issue. Torrential tribute rearing its ugly head for the cleanup. Now the only thing we can do, you're gonna see the set bug here. <laughs> Spear Dragon coming into play here. Not too damn bad. Call the Haunted Kaiku by Sinister Serpents. I'm afraid that that's about all we knew. Oh my god, just set pass. I believe this game one's about to be over because we have Gemini Elf cleaning up, recurring back the Reborn, which is fine, but like, Sean, you're down so many cards. You're just getting controlled so hard. Change your heart? Can, can he tempo this back? Can he tempo this back? Honestly, even with a field of this power, I'm not exactly sure that like he can recur this back because he's got to deal with the Kaiku. Board wipe, and do we have an act? Yep. Bazoo. Okay. Sean is now down game one. This is, I know this is really painful to watch, but Imperial Order was such a power card back in the day, and you're going to get the chance to see just some power cards right back here. The Linguin Duo in your starting hand feels so bad, man. 1600 from Bazoo into the Mirror Force, which is fine. Very interesting control hand over here. 
Dark Elf coming down. Uh, you know, I talked about the biggest, strongest, normal summonable beater, but Zumbira the Dark and Dark Elf do exist in this format. So these are both cards that you need to exist. Feather Duster on the top deck for the clear off, freeing up my boy. Setting um, definitely doesn't kind of care what's going on over here. I mean, when you have the biggest beater on the field, what do you care? You know? <laughs> Nobleman a cross out on the Sinister. Taking a thousand to take two thousand. He's being very passive with these pokes. Definitely like the way that Sean plays game two here. There's no bullshit. Change of heart and <laughs> jokes if there's a cylinder face down. Is there a cylinder? Is there a cylinder? Are we going to the next game? Pays a thousand. Do we get contact? Do we get contact? Yeah, we're, we're going to the next game. Whew. This format is... There's, there's a lot of issues in this format. But there are so many power cards that it makes them interesting. As you see, Sean's playing 46 down here. He does not give a fuck. Now, game three is going to be a very interesting game. Because you're going to get the chance to see some really broken shit. Now, if you're going to monitor the hand situation down here, this, this is going to put Sean in such a bad position. Just because of this card's pure existence. This fucking Spear Dragon's getting so much value down here. So, Judgment's coming up. We've got a Penguin Soldier, a Confiscation over here. Eel Sinister Serpent. Nothing too special going on back here. Bazoo. I, I'm actually very shocked about the Penguin Soldier um, value here. Pure Order, still is doing its value. Penguin Soldier, just getting two things off the board. Penguin Soldier's going to clear up that Sinister Serpent. We don't want our opponent to have another monster on the board. I mean, wow, he didn't even have... He didn't even have a target in here for... Wow, that Imperial Order is really messing up his opponent. The fact that his opponent did not have a target to recur back is really interesting. This Spear Dragon value that is going on here, this is this is gaining a lot of momentum. Um, granted, Gemini Elf is one of the was the biggest normal summonable beater, but this is this is a thing. And also being able to just offload things uh, to power up Bazoo is generally a lot of value. Mirror Force resolves. Still got to deal with this in pure order. I mean, we have quite the spell situation gathering in this hand. Um, as you can see here. And Sean is just, he's not getting a break here. Literally, the fact that two 1900 beaters are coming in for 3800, uh, it's not looking good for Sean at all. Especially with as many spells as we've got here. Call the Haunted bringing back Bazoo on the end phase. Um, interesting to see that the only form of removal that we had on the opposite side of the table over here was from his opponent with a torrential forcing his own board wipe. Now, we do have an established Imperial Order over here. This is not looking interesting at all. It, like, even hopeful for Sean, but his opponent, he's been able to kind of drag this out long enough um, that he's not getting himself into a terrible position. And the order also looks like it's hurting his opponent as well. You are going to be taking more damage off of this. Look at all these spells. Just the complete and utter lockout here. This is so bad. And the only thing we've got coming back over here is a Sinister Serpent. We have a top-decked Mechanical Chaser over here. Now, this Chaser is going to start swinging the momentum of this game back to Sean's favor because his opponent cannot answer this Chaser, which is really odd. We now have Bazoo being added to the hand. And this Imperial Order is just, it's still going. As soon as this order is gone, it's all over. You have a Judgment over here, paying half of his life points to say no to Bazoo. And I'm not sure how many spells we have over here, but Sean is in such a fantastic position. And literally, top deck to Kaiku, Mechanical Chaser attack. And I believe that is what we call a comeback of the century. Now, I do want to say, in formats like this, you can argue that his opponent played this correctly, and I'm not sure how many spells he had, but getting yourself into a situation that you had to torrential your own board, what were your resources? What what things did you have to expand on? It, it wasn't a good case scenario either way, but 
we got there. Sean's hand and everything just kind of lined up. And this is what old Yu-Gi-Oh is about. Just even though there's so many broken cards, just a regular normal summon can swing the tempo as easily as it did. So guys, this is Labyrinth of Nightmare format. The beginning of it at least. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'm... The ride never ends guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.